Hey everybody, we are at Phoenix Inn, right square on the corner of New High and Ord in Chinatown. You know what, it's time for desserts. This is where the East meets the sweets, and I am here for that stuff. It is supposed to be delicious. Oh, it sounds good to let's me. Let's sneak in, because it's snacky yeah. dessert time. Okay, Uncle John, let's yes, go. Let's do okay, it. Let's go. I'm looking through this menu, Steve. What do you think? You know, I, I, look, I come in here, I look at the board, and it all looks sort of Chinese to me. Uncle John, help me out. Well, I think it's a melon with uh, uh, fish. Oh, melon. Okay, I know what I, I got want. It. I got it. I want a, a menu like this, and I want Uncle John with us all the time when we're in Chinatown. <laughs> yeah. Good idea. I know, yeah. Let's go sit down and see if we can get some food. Oh, yeah. good. Good idea, yeah. Hi, everybody. I am talking to Elena. Hi, Ralph. How are you? I'm um, well. How are you? Good. Uh, I understand this restaurant's been family-owned and here since 1965. Yes, correct. Right now, we expand uh, to about 11 restaurants. We have a full-line dessert that other restaurants doesn't have. Oh, that's fantastic. But I also understand you have traditional Chinese dinners here. Yes, uh, Chinese dinner, uh, Southeast Asia fusion dishes, and a full-line Asian dessert. Now, I hear dessert. You trained at the Cordon Bleu? Yes, I graduated from Cordon Bleu with a, a patisserie degree. Fantastic. And that, and you brought that into this restaurant? Yes, I play with ingredients and, and add in Southeast Asia ingredients into the French cooking and, and use traditional Chinese ingredients to make Fulan dessert. Well, that sounds delicious. Let's go try some. Okay. All right. Now we're ready to go with Bill here. We're in the kitchen. We're going to make prime rib with the Korean barbecue type sauce, and we've got the we've got the beef ready to go. And you all set? Let's do it. Okay. Uh, we're putting in the bok choy, and took, that took about 12 seconds. But the interesting part about this thing is that it's being made on a wok. It's not in the big ovens that are around there for hours and hours. Now the vegetables go back into it, and the special sauce that's made off premises so no one knows about it, and delivered here in the mornings, different times in each day, and then the prime rib is put into it, and then we have other, whoa, a little flambe baby, a little rock and roll movement, whoa. Wow, that is a thing of art. Look at this. Ooh. Have a big, oh yeah. Vegetables are smooth. You really don't taste the overwhelming feature of the sauce. It blends in with the vegetables. This will put most primary places out of business. You're unbelievable. Okay, we're in. I've got the uh, Phoenix boneless chicken here. And I've got this delicious prime rib with the Korean sauce that I made. Mm, the, and Uncle John's eating the, the porridge. Yes, the chicken is very tender. Pretty delightful. It's got a very, very delicate flavor. And now I've got the mixed fruit drink. Mmm. Very, about very the nice. Desserts? Well, as a matter of fact, I am now going to try the mini uh, egg custard. While you're doing that, I'm going to go to my dessert, which is the Chinese fortune cookie. And it says, thanks a lot, Uncle John, for taking us on this great tour of downtown Los Angeles, Chinatown. Please come back. Thank you for all of you. We had a wonderful time. And stay healthy, be happy. That's what my yeah. fortune cookie says. And just follow his advice, and we'll see you on the road of Cheap Eats, and come back and see us again. See you next time. <laughs>